Hi, welcome to my workshop. My name's Darren. You ever had this issue? You go into your workshop, you pop the radio on, and then you go about doing your work, you have to put ear protection on. And then you use loud tools like table saws or routers or sanders or band saws or whatever. And consequently, you can't hear the radio or your music playing. It was kind of wasted. You just get to hear it, little scraps of it in between or while you're doing glue up or such. So I've looked into wireless Bluetooth headphones to try and uh, alleviate that issue. My local hardware store Bunnings has two types available. One was made by a company called Tactics. That hasn't had very good reviews, uh, not only on YouTube, but uh, someone I know who actually bought one, had to take it back twice, and then went and got their money back. So the other type they had was this. This is the 3M WorkTunes Bluetooth earmuffs. Let's have a closer look at these. In the box you get a set of instructions, the earmuffs themselves, and a charging cable. They charge off your old standard USB, so you can charge them off a computer or a telephone or iPad charger. I have a USB charger, see, USB, charger built into my Ryobi battery charger. So that's where I'll be charging the headphones from. The actual charging cable fits in just under here. It's a miniature USB and just slots in there. Yep, that way up. Takes a few hours to charge, but of course that would depend on the charger you're using. Long three second press turns it on and it'll announce in your ear the battery level, low, medium or high. Then if you want to connect to a new device, you do two presses. Uh, of course, if it's already connected to a device, it'll assume that means skip to the next track. But anyway, we'll come up to that. Two presses, connect to your device uh, like you would normally pair with anything else. Uh, with, in an iPhone, that's just under settings, Bluetooth. Then once it's all connected up, one press is play. If it's playing, one press is pause. Two presses is skip to the next track. Three presses is go back to the previous track. And that's pretty much all you can control from the headphones. Oh, you can answer a phone call from there, but uh, you might not want to do that. <laughs> uh, you'll see why in just a moment. Okay, so I'm now talking to you using these headphones. The problem is, is this feedback to the ears so I can hear myself talk. That's quite a delay, which makes talking at a normal speed quite hard. So uh, I should imagine that'd be the same if you were trying to make a phone call. It would be very distracting. So they lose points for that. That's the first con. Too much of a delay between speech and feedback in the ear. Uh, not good <laughs> but the question is how's it recording on my phone how good is the microphone itself does it compare to this little fella I wonder if my voice sounds muffled it's very hard when you go to say the second word and the first word is still playing back in your ear very distracting I bet I'm talking at half speed or something. I think the phone call thing's a bit of a, bit of a fail. But let's see how the music is with loud noises in the background. So I'm going to grab my iPad, disconnect from my phone, and connect these to the iPad. <laughs> this delay, man. <laughs> ah! Okay, so I'm going to put the music on from the iPad to these. Then I'm going to start up the machine. I'll use this fella, makes a bit of noise. Got a big dust extra extractor that goes with it. Oh, I can't take this, hang on. Okay, we're going to come down to settings and then Bluetooth. And then we're going to turn this on. Now I'm going to turn this on near my microphone up here so you can hear the sound it makes when it turns on. Power on. And Bluetooth. I've powered these on, now I've got to press this twice. Which
which it should now be. Here we go. Work tunes connect. We've got Bluetooth connected. All right. So let's uh, pop that on to some music. Select something. All right. So now the big test. Can I use these at a comfortable listening volume while using a machine? In other words, do I have to pump the volume up on these to a painful level to hear it while using the machine? I hope not. Let's have a look. Okay, that's a comfortable volume now. Fan going, a bit of noise. You can hardly hear the fan actually and still hear the music very clearly. That's good. That's really good. Excuse my back. All right, let's give this a whirl, baby. It's rock and roll. Okay, yeah, definitely a pass. I can hear the music then. No problem at all. Let me, let me take these off, hang on. Oh, still got the fat. It blocks out the noise of the fan very well. Okay, ran it through its little test. It did very well in that regard. So music playback's good. Uh, the sound quality's not quite up there with a pair of AirPods or AirPods Pro, or probably your latest Beats or latest Sennheisers, but it's good enough. And it's certainly a lot better than you would normally get while the machine's running, because you wouldn't normally be able to hear much. So they're good at blocking out the background noise. So as earmuffs, they work really well. The sound quality is good enough. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with it. And um, it's clear while using machinery. So you can still listen to music while using your machinery. That's all the pros. Cons. There's too much delay between the microphone and the feedback in the ear to make it usable. It's just totally unusable for telephone calls. Forget it. Just don't bother. Take it off. Pick up your phone. Uh, but if you want to listen to some music while you're doing some work, why not? Now, these cost me about $99 Australian. So I haven't had them long enough yet to find out how long the battery lasts. But like I said in the intro, it takes a couple of hours to charge. So I reckon you'd probably get an hour or so out of them. Who knows, maybe more. Be great if you got five or six hours out of them because that's probably a day in the workshop then. All covered. I'll let you know down the track as these go. Okay, so a bit of a different video, hopefully of some use to you. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.